How's it going guys and welcome back to another episode of Wild and Hungry. Tonight we're going to be surf casting in South Taranaki. Going to be trying to catch a large snapper. There's been quite a few of them caught over the last two or three nights. So we should be in luck hopefully, otherwise a bit of fish is always handy. Um, the freeze is getting a bit low and I do apologise for not uploading content as regularly as I should be. Um, my wife and I have just bought a house, so we've spent the last few weeks renovating it. Um, we've got another week or so to go, and I've also got a new job which is on call. So that's quite demanding at the moment and is taking a fair bit of my time. So bear with me while I try and uh, work out a new structure on how I'm gonna get more content out to you guys. Um, well as juggling all of those, those other things but yeah we should have a good night uh, like I say it's gonna be cold we're probably gonna get there when it's dark unfortunately so videoing is gonna be a little bit of fun but we will persevere I'm just gonna pick up Blake now and uh, we'll get out there see you on the beach here we are we finally arrived at the beach so I'm using the long cast this evening the Black Magic KLT hook, just a standard long cast pulley rig. Um, if you guys want me to show you a bit more about that, I can do a video on how I tie those up. Nice and easy. Running the two Nano Matrix rods, 14 footers. One of the old style with the gold ring, the 10 to 20 kilo rated one, and then the newer style with the the standard brown rings which is the 8 to 12 kilo there is no swell today which is interesting for South Taranaki which is normally booming it's quite calm so hopefully the fish are still there and they do like a bit of current normally but means you know on this nice cold winter's night we're not going to get absolutely saturated while we wade out to, to sea yeah see how we get on just waiting for Blake to get his stuff together Get ready to go. We'll make our way down to the water. She's a bit nippy. Oh, a bit colder now. Up, up. There we are. Uh. I don't know what it is. Nothing big though. Might be a little car wire or something. Let's just say it better not be an eel. Damn it, did I just speak it into being or what? <laughs> Shut up, Blake! <laughs> Who's there? Feisty little fella. Something's playing games with me out here and not liking it. Not good games either. Taking my uh, sand sinkers for a run and not taking the bait. That's better.
people than me. Yeah. Oh, killer, mate. Throw in the bag. It's all yours, bro. I like the teeth on them. He's huge, eh? That is one big eel. Yeah. <laughs> this is the <laughs> South Taranaki's. <laughs> it's insane. Heavy weight, bro. Look what he's done to the um, yeah. all our ribs. Oh, I'm going to fix this mess now. Eels galore. I really wonder what the little bites were on Blake's rod, but um, a baby red cod, you're joking me. That's insane. Wow. How hard case is that? So uh, we're a bit defeated. <laughs> uh, too many eels. Red cod. Just weird, weird stuff, you know, gin fish washing up. So we're going to call it a night. Definitely had to come back to this spot during the day because there's some really, really nice um, drop off that we were casting over. But I just happened to be casting right in front of where the eels were. So, hey, it's one of those things. You win some, you lose some. Got a cool gin fish though, which is nice. Oh, all washed up to the beach next to us, but. Yeah, even the eels, you know, we'd, we'd release the eels and they'd be back at our feet in sort of a minute, two minutes time. They just keep swimming towards us instead of away from us. So, yeah, real weird. Call it at night and, um, yeah, we had to come back during the day sometime. What do you reckon, Blake? Yeah, definitely. You're supposed to make the noise, Blake. What's the noise? <laughs> Eel! <laughs>